Good morning, baby. I'm Kai. And I'm excited. So am I. And that's because we just saw the most groundbreaking movie of 2019. Of the decade. Of the century, honestly. And that's Cats. Now, because we aren't sure if you want to watch it, we figured we'd give you our honest opinion of the movie. We took notes, or, or at least I took notes, and I did actual research to give you a perfect film review. And we will show you the review after news and announcements. On Sunday around 2 p.m. on South Salina Street, a woman named of the possibility Tracy Thomas purposely hit a man with a car. The victim sustained minor injuries, and the police later that learned that Thomas and the victim had a domestic relationship. Thomas was arrested on charges of assault and a criminal possession of a weapon. She was brought to the Justice Center. Neil Peart, the drummer and lyricist for the rock band Rush, died on Tuesday, January 7th at the age of 67, according to Elliot Mintz, a family spokesperson. According to Mintz, Pearl passed away on Santa Monica, California, due to a brain cancer, which he had been battling for the past three and a half years. Pert was considered to be one of the rock's greatest drummers with, with the famous drum fills and known as songs like Limelight and Tom Sawyer. In the response, many rock radio stations played rock songs in the homage for Pert's work and contributing to the rock community. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is Cats. Cats beats everything. Seniors, make sure you check your senior quote in room D14 before Friday, January 17th. If you don't verify your quote, it won't be printed in the yearbook. See Mr. Stalick for any questions. There will be a brief National Honor Society meeting on Wednesday, January 15th at, at 10.15 a.m. in the large cafeteria. All members are expected to see Mrs. Fulner or Ms. Van Beveren with any questions or concerns. Now, Malachi, I want to know, because you've only seen the film once, yes. I want to know your honest opinion on the film. So what are your thoughts having only seen the film once? It was scary. What was going on the entire time? That is, that's an appropriate response. What, what do you think was the best part of the film? Um, I think probably the highlight for me was when uh, Jason Derulo, uh, Jason Derulo cat, uh, walks away from a milk bar is. saying, nah, 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 no more milk. And then turns around and says, milk. He, he, and then he runs, cries back, milk to, very runs loud. back to the milk bar. Because well, this is comedy. We needed more milk. So what do you think was the worst part of the film in that um, case? The rest of it. Uh, but if I, had to, um, if I had to narrow it down to one point, I'd say it was when Fat Amy Cat the, uh, just takes the her Rema skin Wilson. off. Wilson. Yeah, yep, her. her. Uh, she just like... That collar takes her skin off. is actually a zipper. She can take her skin off. It's like she, re she removes her skin to reveal like a leotard that's sparkly. That has more skin underneath. I think it's the movie version works. of a costume change, but it did not work yeah, because no. she is also a cat. So Malachi, out of 10, what is your final rating of the film and should I go see it? Um, I'd say, uh, honestly, a 9 out of 10. Yeah? Would have been a little higher if Jason Derulo toned it down maybe a little bit. That, yeah. Um, as for whether or not you should see it, I wouldn't. Uh, you'd think it would be like one of those movies that's so bad it's funny. It's not. It's, it's just bad. It's just bad? It's just bad. You heard it here first. It's just bad. Uh, after weather, I will be giving you my analysis of the film, which I am pretty proud of. So uh, let's take it over to weather. Good morning. Today will be quite warm for January weather with a high of 42 degrees. Moving on to Tuesday, the high will be warm with up to 47 degrees and there will be a few afternoon showers. Wednesday should have sun and clouds with a high of 43. On Thursday, it should start to cool down to have a high of 36 and on Friday 24, Saturday 35 and Sunday 25. There will, have, there will be rain on Saturday and snow on Sunday. I'm Emily with your weather. There is a few good things to be said about this film, I believe. There are a few good things. Few good things. Because it is just like a Les Mis-esque style where they just copied the music. and I'd honestly and put say it's it better on. than Les Mis. I would say it's better than Les Mis, the movie. And, uh, and the play. 
because they just they took all the music and they made their own little script. The music, because it's from the musical, is phenomenal. I love the music in the film, and I think some of the main leads are very talent. Not that one. I think some of the main leads are um, very talented dancers and singers, and I think that they got a bad uh, shot with this film. But now let's talk about the film. The musical, I'm going to give a 4 out of 10. But the film, I'm going to give that like a 1 out of 10. It is so bad. No, uh, no, I wrote some stuff no, down. No, um, I'm not hearing it. All parts that weren't singing were all scripted. Half of them were cat puns, and the other half was James Corden. Uh, James Corden has about one funny joke, and I'm uh, positive he wrote it himself. His bit is that he's large, and that's it, I believe. Most, in Act 1, many cats are introduced, I think about four. And half of them, their only gimmick is that they are overweight. And that's, it. it's not very funny. <laughs> and, Which, um, I mean, if that ain't a mood, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also all of the cats, or most of the cats, have um, collars. And uh, some of them have bow ties on them. Uh, and the collars, I don't know why, but they're all also CGI'd on. They're all put on in post. And it looks very, very bad. It's like, like the faces... All, everything's floating around the screen. Um, most of the shots are handheld. Um, there's more cat puns than I could count. I lost track. Uh, so overall, I'm going to have to give the musical por portion a 4 out of 5, and I'm going to give the movie por portion a 0 out of 5. I'm going to change my rating, making that a total 4 Fringe. out of 10. That Fringe. is my final rating of the Fringe. film. 6 out of 5. 6, <laughs> six out of 5 on for the sports. entire film. On to sports. Leaf. All right, on to sports. basketball teams played JD on Friday in the annual Hoops for Courage game. The girls lost the, and the boys won in a nail-biter. Nietzsche Cook stole the ball with a few seconds left and went to the line for two free throws and made both of them. ESM went up by two in the final seconds to win the game. Here is Nietzsche making the final free throw and then getting the steal to confirm the win for ESM. SU basketball defeated number 18 ranked Virginia on Saturday in overtime. Joe Girard read, led the team with 19 points. In overtime, SU was 6 for 7 from 3 point range and got 19 points. The college football playoff national championship game will be played tonight at 8 o'clock. Number 1 LSU will play number 3 Clemson. Both teams are 14 and 0. LSU is looking for their first CFP final and their first national title since 2007. Clemson is looking to win their second consecutive uh, college football playoff final and third of the CFP era. In upcoming games, the boys and girls bowling teams play at Auburn at 3.30, and the girls volleyball team will play at home against VVS at 7. Good luck to the Spartans. I'm David with your sports. I think I speak for both of us when I say that we are so glad that you could join us today for this movie review. This has been an amazing experience. I have uh, one final comment. I didn't make as much of an analysis as Toby, yeah. but uh, one thing I noticed is that some of the cats, uh, I don't know if you saw in the last uh, segment where we had a picture of the James Corden cat, some of them were wearing pants, which means the rest of them weren't wearing pants. Some of them wore pants, some of them wore shoes, some of them wore collars, and some of them just wore a smile. So Malachi... I think the people want to know, should you go see this film? Final answer. No. Yeah. No. No, no I'd, you I'd should not. You should not you ever should see this see film. No. I think you should I think, wait I think until it's worth a watch. I think a local theater troupe should be doing the musical hey man, and I think I you should go see it. I spent $10 for a ticket and then they didn't even scan the ticket. So I think it was worth the price. Yeah, about. So uh, on that note, uh, we encourage you to um, not go see the movie or at least I do. Go see it. Uh, so for me, Malachi, Jason Derulo, Taylor Swift, and everyone else who'd had their uh, careers Ford. ruined by this film. Have a good day.